Today I feel like looking at something acoustic, I feel like looking at another John Fahey track. And I've done two or three other Fahey videos I think, but this track is probably his best known tune and it's something of a classic, it's something of a fingerstyle standard and I think it's a great piece for anyone to have in their fingerstyle repertoire. Not a particularly easy one to play I don't think, certainly for me this one is quite challenging but as with any tunes of this nature I think if you take it slowly, break it down into small pieces, get the coordination together then it should be doable. So I'm going to begin by having a playthrough. <laughs> There we go, a little bit ragged in places, but that's the best I can do at the moment. And although I knew how to play this track a little bit previously, I only properly got it together in the past couple of days. So give me another six months and it'll be flawless. This was originally recorded in 1965, I think, taken from the album Volume 3, The Dance of Death and Other Plantation Favourites. There's an album title for you. And I think Fahey subsequently re-recorded the track a number of times, certainly played it live quite a lot, and it's been covered by various people in various different ways. But for this video, I'm going to be focusing on that original recording. I'm going to take you through how to play this section by section, and some of this stuff is a little bit hard to describe, I think. So if music and tab would be helpful to you, I'm going to make that available up on my Patreon page. So check that out if you're interested. Let's get started. So Fahey, someone who was known for his use of alternate tunings, but in fact this one is in standard tuning. It's a blues in E, but not a 12 bar blues. The structure is a little bit more complex than that, though it's based on the 1-4-5 chords of a blues in E. So E7, A7 and B7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into two main parts. We've got the main theme, which I'm going to call the A section, and then we've got a B section and some variations on that. So let's begin with the A section and I'll just outline the basic harmony before we get into the specifics of what Fahey is doing. So so we're in the key of E and we've essentially got two bars of E7 and then two bars of A and then back to E and then B7 and then E for two bars. So it's eight bars, two bars of E7, two bars of A bar of E, bar of B7, and then two bars of E or E7. Now, for the E7 bit, Faye is starting by sliding up into this little chord shape up in the seventh position. So let's get that under our fingers to start with. You're sliding up to this E note here. It's the seventh fret on the A string. And I'm also holding down a G at the eighth fret on the B string and a B at the seventh fret on the high E string. So really what we've got here is an E7 because we're bending that G up to a G sharp and you're getting that kind of a sound. Now let's look at the actual finger style approach that Fahey is taking here. And for most of this piece, he's got an alternate bass going on, kind of a Travis picking thing with his thumb. So let's start by establishing that. And we've just got an open low E string and then that E note at the seventh fret on the A string, just rocking back and forth between those two notes. And then on top of that, we've got this little melody. So we're bending that G note, just bending it slightly sharp in that bluesy kind of a way. Then we're play, playing the B note, playing that bent note again, and then with the little finger, 
reaching up for a C sharp at the ninth fret, and then B, and then coming down from that bend. And then finally an open high E string. So let's put that together with the bass. And we've just got an extra open D note at the end of that phrase. Then we're heading to the A chord and Faye is playing this voicing of an A chord. So it's an A triad, fret seven, six and five. And we've got an open A string as well. The bass is just going between the fifth and the fourth strings, a pair of A notes. And then we've got a little melody played on the B string. And if you put that together, and then we're coming down to the open position to an E chord shape. So here, bass is just going from the sixth string to the fourth string, and we've got a little hammer on with the first finger on the G string, an open B, and a high E. And then we're heading to the five chord to B7, and bass is just alternating between the fifth and the fourth strings again. We've got a little melody played on the G and the B strings. And then we're back home to the E chord, just with a little hammer on into that chord. And then some stuff just played on the B and the high E strings. So that's the first eight bars. Let me put that together for you slowly. And that's about it for the A section. We play that three times. There are lots of little variations you can hear and each time Faye plays it, he does it slightly differently. So I'm gonna leave you to listen to the record if you wanna grab some of those, or you can check out my tab as well. But one notable difference is the second time through, he's just hanging on that E chord a little bit longer at the end, and he's adding in this C sharp note here, making it into more of an E6 sound. So you get this kind of idea. this kind of idea happening. You've got that, the hammer on with the first finger and you're adding in that C sharp as well. All of this played with a bit of a swing, so definitely try and get some of that happening in your picking hand. That kind of thing. Let's look at what happens next then. This is the B section. And there are actually four variations on this B section. And this is actually where the whole arrangement starts to get quite complex. And personally, I find it quite difficult to remember which bit goes where and end up doing it slightly my own way. And in fact, if you listen to Fahey playing this one live, he never does it quite the same way twice. So feel free to learn it as I'm gonna show it you now, but then do it your own way and interpret things in your own way. The first time through the B section, then it's starting with this A chord. And I'm just barring the A chord with my first finger at the second fret. And we're starting off with this. So we've got the thumb going back and forth between the fifth string and the fourth string. And in fact, when you're hitting the fourth string, what I'm doing is I'm kind of following through and playing the third string as well. And then I'm just adding in an upbeat with my first finger playing that third string. I'm not sure that's exactly how Faye's doing it, but that certainly sounds quite close to me. 
So then we're developing that a little bit and we've got something like this. This is just alternating between a thumb note and a finger note. So we've got thumb and then the B string and then thumb and the G string. And then we've got this interesting part where we've got a a melody played on the bass strings here and I'm playing this with my thumb wrapped around the top of the neck and I know this is an awkward technique for some people but it really is worth persevering with it because it's quite a big part of kind of blues and finger style guitar and this is how Fahey actually does it. I suppose there is a workaround and you could probably re-finger the A chord and play the bass notes with your first finger but I recommend trying to get the thumb round the top and the actual part goes like this. <laughs> that bass part so the notes we've got there is A E F sharp A E F sharp A F sharp and in between those bass notes we're alternating between the B string and the G string so we've got bass and then finger Then we're headed to an E chord and we've got this. So more sort of melodic action happening down in the bass and the bass part is this, the thumb part. So still alternating with the thumb but we've got this note here added in, it's the third fret on the low E string. You can get that a little bit of a bend if you want to. Just repeating that. And add in some fingers and we've got this. So that's B section number one. Then we're going round again. It starts in a very similar way this A stuff. And then instead of going to the E here we're going to a B7 and we've got this. So again we've got some alternating bass on the B7. Uh, this time we're moving the second finger over to the F sharp. in the fingers and then walking down to the A. So that's B section number two and then B section number three is more or less the same as the first B section. Again if you listen closely to the recording you can hear some slight variations and if you're really interested in that stuff I'm going to transcribe them in my tab but essentially it's the same thing. section 3 and then B4 is slightly different again so we're starting on the A then we're walking up to the B7 straight away so A into the B7 then we've got this little transition taking us back into the main section of the piece Starting off on an E chord, it's quite straightforward. Then we're going to A and we're actually making this an A7. We've got this high G note here and just giving that a little bit of a bend. Then hammering back into the E chord. So that's really about it. It goes around for another A section, another B section, and then it ends. And as I said, if you're really interested in the nerdy details and all the little variations, then I'll put those in my tab. 
but I think what I generally suggest with this one is to take these basic elements and make them your own. Let me tell you a bit about the guitar that I'm using today. This is a Martin 0015M and this is currently my main acoustic guitar. It's nice sounding, it's very comfortable for me to play and I think it works really well for finger style stuff like this. Just wanted to talk a little bit about John Fahey's tone which is quite unique I think and when I'm playing this piece I'm not really trying to mimic his sound. It's not something I can really pull off I don't think, I'm just doing it my own way but when you look at video footage of Fahey playing he's using these metal thumb and finger picks and he's often picking quite close to the bridge which gives you a really bright and strident sound. I think when you're playing finger style guitar you've got a number of different choices as far as tone production goes and there's no right or wrong, I think it's just a matter of personal taste what sound you prefer. Uh, most of the time with fingerstyle I'm just playing with the flesh of my picking hand and that gives me quite a warm balanced sound. Some people like to have nails which is obviously going to give you a little bit more attack or you can start getting into thumb picks and finger picks and today I chose to use a thumb pick just because I felt it gave me a little bit more definition on some of those bass parts. So I really suggest you do the same thing, just experiment with these different sounds, maybe record yourself while you're playing and then see what you prefer. That's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said there's going to be music and tab up on my Patreon page and if you'd like more John Fahey then I have looked at a couple of his pieces previously. I've looked at Sunflower River Blues I think and also since it's getting on towards that time of year you might like to check out my video on Joy to the World which is a beautiful piece of Christmas music. But thanks for watching today, I shall see you next time.